In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, most welcome. This Mass is being offered for Myrna Watson. Friends, this is the 26th Sunday in the Ordinary Time. Also, this is the World Day of Migrants and Refugees. This is observed in many places in solidarity with the World Refugee Day, promoted by United Nations, and observed since 2001 on June 20th. The, observer, the observance was instituted by Pope St. Pius X in 1914. At the request of the several conferences of the bishops, Pope Francis moved the observance to September in 2019. The phenomenon of migration today is a providential opportunity for the proclamation of the gospel in the contemporary world. Friends, now as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery, now let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. 
O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, best to we pray your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises highest to treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud, took some of the spirit that was on Moses, and put it on the 70 elders. When the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied, but they did not do so again. Two men remained in the camp, one named Eldad and the other named Medad and the Spirit rested on them. They were among those registered, but they did not, they had not gone out to the tent, and so they prophesied in the camp. A young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. Joshua, son of Nun, the assistant of Moses, one of his chosen men said, My Lord Moses, stop them. But Moses said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit on them? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord are right and give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right and give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right and give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. The precepts of the Lord are right. By them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. But who can detect unmindful errors? Clear me from hidden faults. The precepts of the Lord are right. And give joy to the heart. Keep back your servant also from the insolent. Do not let them have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. The precepts of the Lord are right and give joy to the heart. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich people. Weep and wail for the miseries that are coming to you. Your riches have rotted, and your clothes are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have rusted, and their rust will be evidence against you, and it will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up treasures for the last days. Listen. The wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, cry out, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on the earth in luxury and in pleasure. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the righteous one who does not resist the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. After Jesus had finished teaching the disciples, John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name. And we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ, will by no means lose the reward. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great milestone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than to have two hands and to go to hell, to the unquenchable fire. And if your food causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter the life lame than to have two feet and to thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with uh, one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell. Where their worm never dies, and the fire is never quenched. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are two very practical lessons we learn from today's Gospel. The grave obligation we have of not causing scandal to our fellow Christians or indeed to any man or woman and secondly, the willingness we should have to sacrifice any earthly possession which is a cause of sin to us. Scandal, the sin of being a cause or an occasion of another's sin is doubly sinful, involving one's own sin and the sin of the person scandalized. Scandal can be caused by word, that is, by teaching wrong doctrines, or propagating wrong news, or by giving sinful advice, and it can be caused by one's own sinful deeds, which may be imitated by others. Those in positions of authority, such as parents, whose duty is to bring up their children in Christian faith, are especially liable to give scandal if they fail to live truly Christian lives. This is the case with the person going with the gossip and propagating wrong news. The children of such parents and persons, Christianity is only a label. It does not inform or inspire their lives, hence they are only nominal Christians. There may be many bad influences to work outside the home, but the good example of truly Christian parents can counteract these influences. Let parents see to it that they will not be a cause of scandal 
and a cause of eternal loss to the children god put into their charge the second lesson for all of us in today's gospel is that we should ever realize that eternal life is worth any sacrifice which we may be called on to make the road we have to travel in life is not an easy one as our lord says in an another place enter by the narrow gate for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction and those who enter by it are many but the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life and those who find it are few we see this in the gospel of matthew chapter 7 verse 13 friends let us have an exemplary life and be witnesses to the ends of the earth I believe in God the Father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen my sisters and brothers gathered in the spirit of god let us pray for the good of the church the salvation of all people and that the lives of christians will proclaim the truth of the gospel for the church empowered by the spirit to serve in the name of jesus for the outpouring of the spirit's prophetic gifts on all god's people we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for the little ones who have been hurt or scandalized for those who have caused others to stumble in their faith and for tolerance forgiveness and generosity among all disciples of Jesus we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for those seeking employment and for all crying out for just wages and justice for the well-being of our children for all parish workers and volunteers we pray to the lord lord hear our pray. prayer for the members of the church in canada who are called to serve the most vulnerable in our communities the elderly the sick the poor and the marginalized including indigenous peoples we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for the sick the hospitalized and homebound 
especially Joanna Bivelds, Marie-Louise, Tiny Boucher, Marc Gauthier, and those inflicted with COVID-19 virus, and for their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spiritual and physical well-being of all parishioners and visitors, for those who have died recently, Stuart Cook, Maria DeVette, and those who mourn, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our benefactors and volunteers, and for Myrna Watson, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Friends, now let us lift up our hearts in prayer and place our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayers, O God, and pour out your Spirit that every heart will confess Jesus as Lord and give witness to your love that he has saved us in the Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with the humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, 
ആൾവേസ് ആൻഡ് എവരി വേർ ടു ഗിവ് യു താങ്ക്സ് ലോഡ് ഹോളി ഫാദർ ആൾ മീറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റേണൽ ഗോഡ് ഫോർ യു സോ ലവ്ഡ് ദ വേൾഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ യുവർ മെഴ്സി യു സെൻഡ് എസ് ദ റിഡീമർ ടു ലീവ് ലൈക്ക് എസ് ഇൻ ഓൾ തിങ്സ് ബട്ട് സിൻ so that you might love in us what you loved in your son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of you is that by sinning we had lost in disobedience and so lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make you holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and to bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope Michael our bishop and all the clergy remember your servant Mirna Watson whom you have called from this world to yourself grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in her resurrection remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them to the light of your face our mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god the blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles saint cecilia and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ 
through him and with him and in him. Our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. My sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that ye should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co heirs in glory with Christ, for whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Friends, now we pray together. Heavenly Father, in these trying days, we humbly seek your guidance, wisdom, protection, and help in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic. That you would grant speedy recovery to those inflicted with the virus and protection to those who have not come into contact with it. We admit to you, O oh Lord, that you are the only authority and power to see us through this situation. For we are mere mortal people, totally reliant on you and you alone. As your Son Jesus taught us, look to your Heavenly Father above for all things, and it will be granted unto you. So, merciful Father, we trust in you. And the words of your dear Son Jesus, to look after us in this time and every time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God.